the IKEA of Somaliland. Okay, that's what she wants to do. I'm the only Somali person in my unit. Any other chairs that in Somaliland? Those are the two that I found, okay. and uh, those are the two that I found people who make them. Mm -hmm. And the great thing about that chair, if you ever visit uh, Berbera, the, all those chairs are made by one man. You, I mentioned, uh, you haven't mentioned yet, mm -hmm. but um, you'd mentioned to me that you want to be like the IKEA of Somaliland, yeah. or the, the Somaliland IKEA. Yeah. IKEA, as we all know, is Swedish and it's very easy to build yeah. from Sweden. Yeah. Sweden. Sweden. Uh, so it's easy to build uh, instructions, you know. Uh, so how is that going to fit in Somali? Because you're building it. Yeah. You're not doing it in pieces for someone else to build it. No, I think uh, the reason I, the thing that attracts me about IKEA mm -hmm. is uh, because I've got to my university design is very like a chair can cost like ten thousand dollars. IKEA chair. No, in oh. like design, like ex design, design has become chair. this con Good design has become this concept of like it being expensive. Mm -hmm. So if I do something that's considered to be good design, mm -hmm. I then get to put any price I want on it as long as I have a buyer. True. And that's a bit, people miss out on good design then. because. Mm -hmm. But the thing that IKEA does that's so lovely is anybody can be exposed to good design. IKEA has pieces of, like just the way we see the cupboards. Have you seen the chest, uh, chest of drawers? Yes. Have you seen these chests? Oh, that was very English. Yes, chests uh, of drawers. Chests of drawers. Chest of drawers. drawers. Yes. Uh, covers. <laughs> Basically, they shape the way we see covers. Now, I feel like any everybody has that covered. Have you seen the white IKEA? The white. You pull three drawers. Yeah. Yeah. The plastic one. No, it's made out of wood. Oh no, there's a wood one as well. Yeah. 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 Okay. You pull like yeah. I feel like I want to. That's the thing that attracts me by IKEA. Everybody has access to good furniture, so I want to be uh, IKEA's answer to Somalia. I want to be be able to provide affordable, good furniture to everybody, and I don't want it to be like a money like. Okay. Yeah. But let's say IKEA. Yeah. You it's would think you dream. think yeah no but you think they have so many different things they technically don't have so many different things they just have so many different names for those things it's like some weird names yeah. like you know like it's the same thing it's a yeah. shoe cupboard yeah. Yeah. but one's called Akhish yeah. and the one's called you know yeah who does this guy think he is <laughs> Bruce Lee <laughs> there's so much snow in Canada I miss grass <laughs> <laughs> so like not not from the naming scheme but like are you going to have um, a wide range of kind of chairs like that gumbird if you want to be that for kids or something or that like high chair or like a shoe cupboard like are you gonna have like a, or are you just talking about chairs like people sit down sit there uh, um, ass down well i think my goal of being becoming Somali ikea's answer mm. to somaliland or somaliland's answer to no ikea's answer to somaliland Somaliland's Ikea. The Ikea of Somaliland. Oh, Somaliland. Yeah, okay. It's a very ambitious dream, yeah. but I think it will probably happen in like in the next 30 years. I like that. I like so 30. That's a, that's I have a this goal. So in the beginning, the, I think the beginning, I would just make chairs that solve a specific function. So the okay. white plastic chair, yeah, I would make yeah. something that competes with that, yeah. that's made with mostly local material uh -huh. and also made by local people. like craftsmanship so Mali craftsmanship I like that. to try to replace the plastic chair mm -hmm. and introduce this one like the guy did he didn't replace anything but Ode Muhammad Ode Adil the chair in Barbara it's everywhere because it solves a function exactly. and it's everywhere because it's affordable and uh, and it's made by you know who made it mm -hmm. so I think that's what uh, that I what I want to do so I don't know if I would be making only chairs maybe I'll make beds cupboards you never know Try to take over the world. That's, that's, yeah. yeah. I like that, beds. But I'm focusing Cupboards, on cupboards are here though, no? Yeah, they make them. They make, they make them, them here, them right? Them, them cheapo ones that's yeah. like a frame and then yeah. like some sheety. Yeah. yeah. There's also the thing that people have to understand is um, there's different careers. You can be a carpenter. Okay. And then you can be a designer. Um, a designer, someone who designed things, can also be a carpenter. But someone who likes to, like, not everybody has the idea of seeing something like this should solve a specific function, mm -hmm. just a creative process. Um, I think that a lot of people in Somaliland are carpenters mm -hmm. 
Um, and the way that they work, I've been told, they've told me, is a customer comes to them, shows them a picture of what they want, and then they make it. Okay, yeah, they yeah. make it. Uh, yeah. They make Nerdy. whatever you want. Yeah. So basically, yeah. you tell them, I want this to be this size, I want it to be like this, and because they're carpenters, they're not designers. Yeah. So that's why everything kind of looks the same here. True, because everyone just copies each other's yeah, designs. Yeah, because someone will see a cupboard somewhere, will come up to him and be yeah. come up to another carpenter and be like, I want that cupboard, and then the carpenter will make it. But also, the limited materials, we don't get pretty much the same wood, same um, uh, uh, yeah. wood, like same materials, wood and wood. <laughs> um, this song is dedicated to all the lonely woodchucks out there. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood in a truck? As much wood as a woodchuck could if a woodchuck could chuck wood. So that's why everything kind of looks the same. So I think to be able to use like my education as a designer, where all you do is look for things uh, that for like to help you solve something. Like mm. this chair needs to be the specific height because you're doing this specific thing. Or this table needs to be this way because you're doing, like, that part is missing. So that's, inshallah, maybe in, what, five to ten years, I'll that's start working on that, yeah. So that's what I was going to ask, like, yeah. end this bit because yeah. we need to go to, you're here for summer as well. Yeah. Not just work, so we need yeah. to talk about that. Yeah. But, like, so you just said five to ten years. So that's your five to ten year goal. So yeah. when are you coming next here? Um, inshallah, next year. Okay. I have a lot to learn. I need to learn yes, about... Yeah. Just how it is to be a carpenter here in Somalia. I believe a lot in just research. I know people, a lot of people laugh, but I believe that majority of things should be, you should research things and you should learn Messages. them. Yeah, and the wheel has already been invented. So there's already someone doing something that you are interested in doing. doing. So just yeah. find that person and talk with them. They have knowledge to share. So, and collaborate. And collaborate. My I, last video, yeah. we talk about collaboration is very important. Yeah. All right, stop. Collaborate and listen. listen. Um, and research as well is very yeah. important. You know, my dad instilled that yeah. in me. Uh, research from everything, yeah. from like telephones yeah. to PlayStation when I was a kid. Like, he was like, make sure you go to like 10 shops yeah. before you buy it from yeah. this one shop. You know, research is the most important yeah. thing. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I always love my dad for that. You know, like I was telling some of my friends, my friend just bought a computer. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say his name, but he knows who he is. He bought a computer, okay? A PC or yeah a cpu sorry let's be exact a cpu um and he bought his like yeah happy you know for his business that he went away there were two different pcs pcpus and he thought they were the same but the box was different and everything was different and he just went to like two shops maybe because there's not many shops but it's always that's why it's always good to do your research yeah um he came from Borama to her geza because yeah. there's not many shops so Borama is expensive yeah i'm not gonna say your name don't worry bro <laughs> <coughs> but um yeah so now we're done with the furniture let's talk about somaliland and the tourist expat and diaspora aspect so what's it like to be a diaspora back in somaliland or yeah uh it's eye-opening um uh, it's uh what can i say I, I feel like it's overwhelming in the beginning because there's so many of us We're everywhere. Yeah, especially in summertime. In the summertime, summertime. we're everywhere. Yeah. So it's very easy to kind of just speak like your own language, English, and not speak Somali at all. Um, but I've been working on, I think that's the part that I dislike about uh, being a diaspora well, I here. I love that bit. I know. <laughs> that's part that I dislike because my goal is actually to like learn Somali and like mm. get really, just like when you move to another country or you go to another country, mm -hmm. you always come back with like, Oh, I was in Italy, and this is how you say this and this and yes, this in yeah. Italian. But usually when we come here and we leave, we don't really go like, oh, it's in Somalia, and, and this is, like, the language part. Mm -hmm. um, so I feel like I have to do a better job, me. I have to do a better job in, like, getting involved in, like, the local community and stuff like that, and not getting stuck in my diaspora bubble. Like, Sultan, and, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Um, so that's, but other than that, I feel like it's amazing. People are very welcoming over here. Um, you know, they... Tell us, you know, welcome home and stuff like that. Well, what's your favorite bit? Well, let's start with what's your worst bit. Let's start with what's your favorite bit, actually. Okay, so favorite, far. favorite thing was Wella? Yes, and this trip. This like, trip so yeah. far? 
Um, well, my favorite thing always about Somaliland is everybody looks like me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, I said that in the yeah, interview. Yeah, everybody looks like me. I love that part. Mm -hmm. um, the other fav favorite thing about being a woman in Somaliland is I don't really have to focus a lot about, about on my appearance. Like, being in Sweden, uh, you constantly, as because I feel like being in the Western world, Women always like you have to be presentable and you have to like look a certain way and blah blah. blah. But here you just throw a shalmad on and your flip flops and people leave you alone. Like the Somali girls yeah. are beautiful. That's why you know, we don't. <laughs> it's really more about like stuff. what you have to say. Like you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You don't. You don't have to be that presentable. Mm -hmm. And it's like you put a batia, you put a shalmad, a abaya yeah. on. Very relaxed. Yeah. I love that part. Um, it's weird, but I love that part. Mm -hmm. And the thing that I dislike, I don't dislike anything, but I think that I think that could be improved. Mm -hmm are definitely customer service we spoke about that exactly. you shouldn't wait for your food for two hours exactly yeah uh, <laughs> Khalid has yeah. Yeah, <laughs> a yeah. lot of experience and then the other thing that maybe maybe just are like work ethic yeah because you, you would uh, why why what do, you, what do you mean by work ethic I'm gonna let you say um, I feel like it's I feel like we should be more clear on like if you come to work at eight or nine, you should stay to you should stay at work till four, or you should be available during work at work work hours. Yeah. Um, I've tried to contact like government officials, do my research, mm -hmm. go to businesses, talk to businesses. Like it's very difficult. Um, there's no website, there's no email you can send anything. You kind of have to go to these people, mm -hmm. and sometimes they're there and sometimes they're not. Mm -hmm. So work ethic, I would be like. I uh, don't really want to say this, but we can improve on that because our work ethic isn't that strong. No, and I, and I agree with you as yeah. well. I've said in many other videos, uh, multiple videos, um, we do have the siesta, just like from 12 to 4. Yeah. All shops are closed. How dare you do this to us? We are the Toronto public. We want to shop. We want to get into the eating center. Most shops, like 90% of the shops are closed. Um, and restaurants as well. No one does lunch. No, you know that's one thing. No one does lunch, and it kills me. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, that's that's one of the things. So you said you're good, you're bad. Um, so you're here for now. Another how long are you here for? Another ten days. Another ten days, and you're still like just networking. I'm trying to build this chair now. <laughs> in ten days, yeah. can you build a chair in ten days? I, I could build a chair in five if just somebody would let me into a workshop. Like, I wish we did this earlier. Yeah. I, I could have been out to be like, help her out. Yeah. You know, but uh, no, but still, like, just, just like, it's a halfway break. Like, shout out, like, where do, if you, what do you want people's help in? As in, like, with you, you're going to come back here again. It's like you said, it's who you know, not what you know. Yeah. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who know no people or who are people. Yeah. So, what well, are you looking if for? If anybody works with animal skin, um, I would love to. Be introduced to them and get to know them if you work with <clears throat> materials if you work with anything craftsmanship so if you are a carpenter if you're a designer an architect if you work with materials please contact me um if you're there's this one somali guy who made shoes out of leather uh yeah yeah okay um wherever you are can you find me because i've been looking <laughs> yeah. yeah uh where can they get hold of you Instagram at here should I say the name? Yeah, I say it as well there. Yeah. Asli Abdi with an A. Yes, right there. Um, okay, now what is the future of tourism or or like of diaspora? Yeah. Well, let, let's start with diaspora then tourism. <laughs> um, you're gonna dislike me for saying this, but I don't want people to come here. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. okay, okay, that, that, that threw me back yeah. a bit. Um, I want the diaspora to come here, absolutely. Oh, okay. I ah, just don't want yes, tourists yes. to come here. Yes, I want, I I, I, we need like I a agree. good 20 years. Somalia needs a good I 20 years. I agree. We just, we just need to like rebuild, refocus, redo. We don't need another like a Janebi or a white person coming in and playing like the savior role. We need to like, oh, we need way, to yeah. teach ourselves how to do these things. We need to do the, we need to invest in each other. We need to build our own roads. We need to be our own doctors just to instill that confidence in us. Because I feel like the thing that happens in a lot of African countries is because of, uh, you know, 
colonization or whatever, white people have played this role of like the savior role and people who aren't Somalis or who aren't African have this, they might have made it or not, but this little complex of like, I'm here to teach or I'm here to, you know, I have something that you don't and I'm going to teach, teach you. And yeah. I don't want us, I want that to be gone from our community. 100%. Yeah. I think, I think that's because when, when you said, yeah. we don't want any yeah. more Andrianabs here, I was like, what? No. Yeah, yeah. Now I get it. Yeah. Now you explained yeah. it very well. Um, yeah, I, I kind of agree in yeah. the point of like tourist point yeah. of view. Like, even though we do have a lot to see, yeah. but what? We've only got like one company, yeah. one decent company, yeah. and like three other companies that yeah. you can't even, they won't even pick yeah. up their phone, you know? Tourist companies I'm yeah. talking about. I haven't even tried the Ministry of Tourists. I'm not even going to get there. But uh, um, but yeah, so you know what I mean? So the infrastructure in the tourism kind of way is not there. We have so much to show. Yeah. That's why it's like the hidden gem, you know, mm. kind of thing. Um, you know, there's people who live in Hargeisa who've never been to the beach. But better, yeah. Yeah. You know, there's it's people in Hargeisa that's never been to Las Gale, yeah. yeah. You know, I, I haven't been there. So maybe we so, can invest on tourism. So no, but the, it's not tourism. No. I swear to you, it's not tourism. It's the problems way smaller, like yeah. the road. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? We don't have proper roads. So let's do that. <laughs> so we got to start from the... That's what you mean, like, when you say from the beginning. Yeah. Because, we're, yes, we are a developing country and yeah. we're developing very fast and uh, it's great. It's amazing to see. Uh, I love it because every time there's something new I can try and go to. But we're just doing the same thing. We're copying each other. Yeah. Uh, restaurants, cafe, yeah. uh, beauty salons, uh, printing shops. Gyms. Uh, gyms. Oh, my God. Gyms open up like crazy and they're shocking. Um ice cream places um, there's only one decent dessert place you know shout out crepes and waffles <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah so by the way I better get that free you know <laughs> <laughs> nah, uh, yeah crepes um, so it's all the same things opening up uh, where was I going I was going so yeah that's, that's why I don't think we're ready for that yet no. that's why my first phase is that's why my first phase is to bring the diaspora back here yeah all types of diaspora yeah you know, uh, mm. all walks of life, yeah. all everything, to start something, to do something. Like you, amazing. No one's doing what you're doing. Yeah. That's why I had to interview you, yeah. you know. Um, yeah. And then it builds from there. Yeah. And if there's anybody who's doing what I'm doing or thought about doing what I'm doing, please contact me because I feel like we're better as one. Uh, uh, like together. Better together. Yeah, yeah. United. Yeah. Forget tribalism. Forget all that yeah. garbage. Yeah. For sure. Okay. Now, if there is one thing yeah. you would have to say to people mm -hmm. about Somaliland mm -hmm. just people generally not diaspora not people you know just like general well, people yeah. what is it about Somaliland would you would say that they should know yeah um, infinite possibility to infinity so and beyond words only. can you elaborate um, you can the thing that attracts me about Somaliland that people should know about Somaliland uh, is that you can, we're just starting, like you can do things here. Um, back where we're from, things have been going on for like 50, 60 years and been developed. But like here, you have the possibility of discovering like pigment in the mountain and like minerals and like there's berihi, like there's a million things to discover. And I feel like this is like, if you want to just immerse yourself in one thing, you can do it here. Okay. Yeah. That's a, I like that. I like that. Yeah. Okay. So, before we go, yeah, I've got this is first time as well exclusive. Mm -hmm. We are now going to do the KO round. Ready? Yes. Okay. Let's hope you don't get KO'd. Right? I won't. I don't lose. Okay. So basically, this is the first time I'm doing it with someone. Um, it's a couple of questions that I've got. Sh quick questions. She just has to answer as quick as possible. Yeah. You ready? Okay. Texting or talking? Talking. Favorite day of the week. Friday. Favorite city in Somaliland besides the one you live in? Arabsia. Oh. Nickname your parents used to call you? Gali. 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 It's expensive. Expensive. That, you're expensive because mm -hmm. only only child, so yes. Uh, last song you downloaded? Abdihani. Which one? Uh, Gordel. Okay. Can you give us a song? Sing. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I tried. Um... Would you rather be able to speak every language in the world or be able to talk to animals? Talk to animals. Fuck in my shoe. It's been driving me nuts all day. I'd love to. 
Oh yeah, you kidding? love animals. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't we didn't get into that. No, by the way. Choice. We didn't get into it. But uh, um, how long does it take you to get ready? Uh, Forty-five minutes. Oh really? Depends on where I'm going. No. Okay. So no, you're going to a wedding. How long does it take you to get ready? Forty-five minutes. Whoa. An hour. An hour. I uh, thank an you. Hour, Come yeah, on. You know. Okay, you're going to the mall. Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes. That's shower, makeup. That's dress. Everything. Yeah. Usually, I'm the I shower before I go to bed. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know how people either shower in the shower morning, morning or before or, they go to bed. Yes. Okay. How can you get in the? Sh- how can you get in your bed dirty? I don't understand that. No, if you haven't played football or whatever, if I'm not dirty, I'm a shower in the morning. Okay. Guy. Anyway, um, scale of one to ten. Yeah. One being awesome, ten being rubbish. Yeah. How good of a driver are you? Um, one. Zero. Because <laughs> you don't drive, I no, guess. I don't drive. You don't have a license. Okay. I don't drive. <laughs> All right. Fill in the blank. Yeah. Chunks is funny. <laughs> okay, that's it. Is like one word. Yeah, oh, it's okay. funny. It is funny actually. Yeah. Um, at what age do you want to retire? I don't know. Fifty-five. Fifty-five. You know that's below the age of UAE. You know that. Yeah. Well, I still want to be making stuff. I still want to be building stuff. Okay, so yeah. retire but still build. Yeah. Um, invisible or super strength? Invisible. Ooh, you're sneaky. Yeah. You're sneaky. Yeah. Uh, is it wrong for vegetarian to eat animal crackers? No. Yeah. <laughs> animal crackers, like, why is animal crackers? <laughs> is it crackers shaped in the forms no, of animals? No. No. I think. Uh, crackers for animals. Yeah. Yes, it's wrong. It's wrong. Yeah. yeah. Crackers for animals, yeah. like no. like a dog with. Oh, no, no. No, it's wrong for anybody to do oh, that. Oh. Okay, okay. Well, ding, 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 ding. I won. She made it. She made it to round ten. You know, well done. And uh, yeah, guys. So, shout out your channels. My Instagram is Asli Abdi, with an A. Yeah. And that's the only channel that I have. Yes. I'm on Snapchat, but you don't you don't want people to follow it. Twitter? No. Facebook? Haven't been there for years. So Instagram only. Instagram only. Okay. No, you don't want to do an email as well because it's a bit more professional for the professional ones. Uh, my email will be here because it's super long. Oh, so it's going to be like 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 yeah. here. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Uh, so that's her. Mm-hmm. Uh, thanks so much, guys. Uh, thank you. Thank first you. of all, uh, uh, Asli. Um, you have been really usly, you know, yeah. <laughs> for the Arab speakers right there. Um, or if you speak Urdu, Pashto, Turkey, or Somali. Oh yeah, Somali is usly as well. It's the same thing in five languages. Uh, you see, uh, so you've been usly. Uh, yeah. Thanks, usly, and um, yeah, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and also hit the notification bell so you guys know when the next video yes. is. Okay. Um, any last words? No. Ma'a salama. Ma'a salama. That's Arabic. So we're going to sign out. Peace. Blessings. Do you know it? No. Huh? Peace. <laughs> blessings. <laughs> she got help from someone outside. <laughs> of bed, huh? Peace. Blessings. Excuse me. All right. We out, guys. Thank you. Yeah, beautiful. Done. We made it. Hey. We made it. Now you're singing, huh? Yeah. Huh? Uh, it's still recording, though. It's <laughs> interview.